with Elite Fitness. Welcome to Lunch Crunch, guys. We're going to hit the core. Uh, pretty simple workout, guys. We've got six exercises. All I want to do is run through that two times. Okay. Um, I will have some modifications, guys, as we go through that I'll mention. Um, just some simple things that maybe will help your back if you have some back issues. Um, guys, this is going to do a good job of hitting not only just, you know, we say ab classes. You know, it's not just going to hit the abs, guys. We're hitting the obliques. We're hitting the erectors. Uh, we have some twisting motions today. I like those rotations. So I think you'll enjoy the routine. All you really need for today's routine is this, maybe an ab mat for the floor just for some added comfort. All right? Uh, guys, I'm going to lay back. Let's get this thing started. We're going to start with um, a, a, a alternating knee tuck, and we're going to reach under the knee that we're drawing in. Okay? So I'm just, call, I'm just going to call me an alternating knee tuck reach. Okay? So... This can be done a couple ways, guys. We're going to do about 10 each way. Okay, so we're going to lay back. And I guess with a, for a little less stress, um, not quite as challenging. And it takes a little stress off the back. If you have some back issues, you can start in this position. And then we're going to just lift. Now, you could bring the head all the way back, guys, if you wanted to. Now, the more challenging, I guess, would be to float those legs. Now, I don't want you to just straighten the lower back, though. So you can, you can float these legs and just draw them in, okay? And I'm gonna continue here, guys. You can pick the way one of them, too. We're gonna to get 10 with each leg. Three. Four. Five. Six. Tighten that core. Seven. Eight. Should be pretty effective here. Nine, just to watch your back. We're gonna bring those legs down, guys. Listen, I know that hold the neck up. Sometimes if people have tight necks and it's tight, listen, you, you, you could just put your hands behind your head and split your head off some. So that's another twist on that movement, okay? What I'm gonna do next is we're gonna take a little load off the neck, give the legs a little breather. We're gonna do a two count. It's a crunch and then a cross, okay? Um, guys, we'll do about 15 to 20 of these. Don't pull the head, we're up one. Really feel that core, guys. Exhale, exhale. Fifteen to twenty. I'm gonna do a couple more here. Up, squeeze. Very effective. Okay. I'm gonna switch the legs as we'll match reps coming the other way. Here we go. That was 20, and again, man, really working the, the, the upper abs, especially, and tightening those obliques with that rotation, okay? Uh, speaking of obliques, guys, and kind of getting those uppers with the rotation, we're going to hit, we're going to target the lower obliques a little bit here, okay? We're going to do a seated oblique leg lift, long oblique leg lift, but all we're going to do, guys, is just, it sounds intimidating, it's really not, guys. We're going to lean back a little bit. I'm just going to turn my feet off to the side a little bit. And I'm going to drive up, trying to lean with my heels a little bit. Three, targeting right here. Four. So just coming to one side. Flip a little twist. Oh, 
guys, it should be right there. Really target exercise. Um, take a breath or two. We're going to the other side. All right, so we're gonna match reps here. And again, we're just gonna lean back, guys. We're thinking heels. So we're just gonna twist over one side and drive up. Tough. Oh, feeling those. Okay, we're gonna go to a, a plank position next, and I call these clock quarters. So uh, we've done a, we've done a, a several different types of these clock planks, where we might go around the whole clock and come back. This we're breaking the clock in the quarters, and we're gonna alternate our hands. Okay, so let's go through this together. And we're just gonna go, we're gonna go like 12, and then we'll go three, nine, six, six, and then work our way back. Guys, we're gonna get 15 reaches with each hand. This, that's kind of our goal, okay? And, and maybe 10, okay, if, if you're new to this. And listen, guys, as you get more comfortable, you could increase your reach, okay? So let me just, I don't like using the mat for these, so I'm just gonna go right to the floor. I'm gonna get in a nice plank, don't sag the hips. So don't sag. Keep them up. Okay, guys, and here we go. I'm gonna reach up, 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 and then out. Out. Back. Back. Good, guys, have me count me. Manage now. Just a neat dynamic. The core has to work in a little different way. I'm gonna go back down to six o'clock. And I believe that was around 15. <laughs> so hey, let's lay back guys. We have, um, we're gonna work the, the midline a little bit here. We're gonna do a leg lift crunch. Um, you can put the hands behind the head with this one. And as the name suggests, as you do a leg lift, we're also going to crunch. We're really trying to target again that, that midline or hitting upper and lowers. So we're here. Guys, here we go. Woo! Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm not going too low. Six straight. Keep everything on the core. Fifteen to twenty. I'm feeling big time. Twelve. I'm trying to bring those hips up a little bit. Okay, guys. That was twenty crunch leg lifts. We're gonna roll over now, guys. And work on the uh, on the back a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do Superman. I'll put the arms out in front. We're gonna hold for two, guys. Always want to caution. We're not trying to go fast, and we're not trying to get as high as we can. Just trying to flex that posterior chain. You're gonna feel your glutes. You might feel your hamstrings, and you feel the lower back. Okay, right above the hip line. All right. So I'm here, guys, and I'm gonna come up. One, two, lightly touch. Two. Two. 
All right, great work, guys. We made it through one round. One more to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll over here. I'm gonna lay back, guys. Take a breath. If you need a longer break, guys, hit pause. And uh, you know the routine. So if I go too slow, just keep going. All right, here we go. We do that knee tuck, and almost like almost like like a reach under. Okay, here we go. And remember, you can touch down, guys, so you can have your legs touch in between. I'm going to float mine. All right, here we go. guys with minimal rest in between these movements I'm gonna cross the leg over 15 to 20 this is a two-phase movement up and over We're gonna switch sides. Here we go. work okay uh, see the position so we change our body position a little bit here and now we're gonna really target and you should really feel those those obliques from this side here all right so just lean back a little bit kind of support the body we're gonna shift the legs off to the side and try to lead with the heel okay so my legs are all kind of off to the side one Get for the first one two three Big time. Okay. We'll switch sides. Here we go. Really squeeze sixteen. transition now to a plank position we're gonna do those quarter reaches okay so the clock we're hitting all the quarters all right all three hands all right I'll try to count this time we about 15 reaches with each arm 
It's so funny how just moving your arms fires up that core. Leg lift crunch, 15 to 20. Think about the hips if you can coming off the ground. If you can't, no big deal. But that'll really engage those lower abs. Here we go, guys. So bro. Down, feeling those, oh, those abs fired up. All right, Superman, you guys, we're rolling over. Two counts. Remember to go slow here. Okay, that was 15 two counts. Once you get through that second round, that is our core workout for today. So guys, I really, I really changed angles as you know, and I thought this would be a good job of just challenging the core from so different planes of motion. Hope you get a great workout wherever you're at. Stay safe and healthy out there. This is Elite Fitness, bringing wellness to you.